coming to ankylosing spondylitis here you can see the disc space and the body of vertebra and this is the normal position in ankylosing spondylitis there is a progressive inflammatory arthropathy which affects the spine and sacroiliac joint although peripheral uh, joints may be involved as the disease progress here you can see the disc space being narrowed and there is fusion so the normal patient will be becoming like bend like this that is ankylosing spondylitis the joints may be involved where the capsule ligament and tendon insertion can be affected and there is going to be severe arthritis high ciliary body involved and uveitis can be there and coming to the skin there might be erythema on the extensor surface and the heart you might have aortic root involvement which undergoes dilatation and aortic regurgitation can be there and the apex they might have nodules or fibrosis ankylosing spondylitis usually occurs in male extra articular manifestation includes uveitis vasculitis aortitis and aortic insufficiency associated restrictive lung disease related to pulmonary fibrosis or chest wall movement restriction there might be joint fixation and kyphosis the kyphosis can be so extreme that the patient are unable to face forward so it will be like this and they cannot look forward thereby your mask ventilation laryngoscopy and intubation all going to be very difficult the pre operative evaluation you focus on the cardiovascular pulmonary and musculoskeletal system in the physical examination don't forget to measure the oxygen saturation on room air the presence of murmur on cardiovascular system warrants an echocardiogram in ventilatory compromised patient you have to do a chest radiograph as well as pulmonary function test analgesic medication and non biological disease modifying agent can be continued pre operatively although nsaid can be stopped 2 to 3 days before surgery several guidelines recommend holding the biological agent tumor necrosis factor alpha antagonist before surgery although there is uncertainty regarding when the treatment should be stopped relative to surgery as i said earlier different dosing cycle and it is a complex therapy better to involve the rheumatologist primary care physician and surgeon always discuss about airway management with the patient in ankylosing spondylitis you have to go for an awake fiber optic intubation peripheral nerve blocks are an option but neuroaxial blockade are usually unsuccessful in the presence of severe spinal involvement <music>